What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm gonna show you how to save battery on your iPhone. So I gathered the best power saving tips and tricks to keep your battery running all day long despite the fact your device is a new or an old one. So make sure to stick around till the end of the video as I will show you some quick fixes and also some settings, what tweaking and third party apps that you should stop using, making these the best ways to improve your iPhone or iPad's battery life. The first thing you want to do is turn on the optimized battery charging. This is a new feature that comes with iOS 13 and is normally activated by default. What this does is maximize the lifespan of your battery by minimizing the amount of time it is plugged in while fully charged. More exactly, if you plug in your iPhone before you go to bed at night, it will charge to 80% and then wait until morning before charging the reminder. It does this by learning your habits, so if it knows you usually get up at 7, it will finish charging just before that. This won't fix a battery that won't maintain its charge, but it should prolong the life of new batteries. So what you have to do is make sure your iOS is up to date with the latest version and then you can double check it by going to settings then select battery okay in here you select battery health and check that Optimized battery charging is on. The next thing you want to do is use the dark mode. This again is a new feature that comes with iOS 13 and it can make your screen more pleasant to view and less of a strain on the eyes if you're looking at it in a darkened room or at night. But another benefit is that less power will be required to light up the display, making it a good option to save battery. In order to activate it, go to settings, then scroll down to display and brightness, select that, and from here you choose the dark mode, and you see it changes the color. Or you can set this mode in automatic, so it only comes on at night, and from here you can select to activated from sunset to sunrise or with a custom schedule which gives you more flexibility. Another useful trick is to turn down brightness. Lighting the pixels of your device's retina display requires a lot of energy. Luckily you can save some battery life by adjusting the iPhone's brightness. A quick fix is to turn down brightness using the slider in control center. So you just have to swipe down from the top of your display and drag the brightness slider down as far as possible. But with the setting obviously that leaves your device usable. Apple suggests that the auto brightness feature is designed to conserve battery life but it will do this in moderation. If you're willing to go further in pursuit of better battery life, you'll need to use the manual settings and turn off auto brightness. The next advice is don't bother quitting apps. iPhone users tend to quit apps they aren't using as it seems like a logical way to stop them sucking away at the battery. But apparently this isn't such a good idea after all. One of the Apple officials explained back in 2014 that when you close an app, you take it out of RAM, which means that when you open it again, the iPhone has to load it back into memory. And all of that loading and unloading puts more stress on your device than just leaving it alone. He also said that unless you have enabled background app refresh, your apps are not allowed to run in the background unless they are playing music using location services, recording audio, or checking for incoming calls like Skype does. So what you want to do here is go to settings, 
scroll down to general, select that, and background app refresh. In here, you will see a list with all the apps that are allowed to refresh their content in the background. So based on your personal usage, you can choose to deactivate some of them in order to save battery. Another useful advice is to turn on low power mode. This reduces overall power requirements and makes your battery last longer. Low power mode isn't a default option that happens automatically in the background. You will get a pop-up with the option to turn it on only when your battery hits 20% remaining power and it will be automatically switched off again when you charge past 80%. What you can do in order to save battery is enabling this mode manually by opening the control center and pressing the battery icon. You will notice that the battery indicator turns orange. How this works is by stopping mail fetch, hey Siri, background app refresh, automatic downloads and some visual effects. One of the top advice is to delete the Facebook app. Facebook itself has admitted that the iOS app uses a lot of resources in the background and some reports claim that uninstalling the app can save up to 15% of iPhone's battery life. So what you can do here is just delete it, delete the app and access Facebook through Safari on your iPhone. Next thing you should do is use the auto lock. While the screen is on, you're consuming power. So make sure that your iPhone isn't awake when you don't need it to be. If you want to get the maximum battery life, it's wise to set the auto lock to 30 seconds. In order to do that, you go into settings, scroll down, select display and brightness and press auto lock. And from here, you select the 30 seconds option. This will provide a substantial improvement to battery life over time. Next advice is to disable Wi-Fi. If you still need a data connection, but can live without Wi-Fi, you can disable it by swiping down to reveal the control center and tapping the Wi-Fi icon to turn it off. This will stop your phone from looking around for Wi-Fi networks it could join. However, if you do need to access data, Apple claims that the iPhone consumes less power using the Wi-Fi over a 3G or 4G connection. So you should use this advice based on your needs. Next thing you should check is the Bluetooth. If you have Bluetooth on, the chances are you don't need it. This technology is considered to be a battery drainer. So if you're not using it to connect to a speaker, headphones or other accessory, you should switch it off. In order to do that, swipe down to reveal the control center, tap the Bluetooth icon. And once it's grayed out, it means it's switched off. Another important advice is to turn off AirDrop. This service allows you to transfer photos and other files to and from nearby iPhones with the same feature switched on. Unfortunately, it could be a battery killer because of the way AirDrop seeks out nearby iPhones to hook up with. With the latest iOS 13, this feature is always on as long as Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are on. So if you want to turn off AirDrop, you could just switch off those features. But what if you still want to use Wi-Fi and disable AirDrop? Well, you can do that by opening the control center and long press the Wi-Fi or Bluetooth icon. You will get a pop-up window where you can set how AirDrop should work. So just select it and select the receiving off option. Now you will see the icon is grayed out, which means it's switched off. A more extreme measure is to disable 3G or 4G. If you can survive without data, but still need to be contactable, you could switch it off. This will increase battery life and has a benefit over using the airplane mode, as you will only disable the mobile data part of your signal. In order to do that, go to settings, select mobile data, and just switch it off. 
Another section of what checking is the notification center. Each time a notification is received, the iPhone screen lights up and it plays a sound which uses energy. Every message wakes your device for 5 to 10 seconds and that can add up if you get a lot of notifications every day up to a small percentage of your daily battery charge. So what you can do in order to save some energy is turn off notifications for non-critical apps. To do that, go to settings, select notifications and scroll through the list of apps looking to see which ones have notifications turned on. Tap on the one you're not interested in and deselect the allow notifications options and that's it. The next and the last trick is the location services. There are a number of apps that utilize location services on your iPhone and they can play their part in draining your battery too. It's even more frustrating when it's not obvious why some of them need to know where you are in the first place. To stop apps from using location services, tap settings, scroll down to privacy, select that and select the location services. From here you can either turn off location services altogether or select any app that you don't need to access your GPS and switch it off from here. These are my top tips and tricks to improve iPhone battery life. I hope it's been useful watching till this point and would appreciate a thumbs up. If you know any better tricks let me know in the comments below. Also subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I post new videos. Thank you for watching and good luck till next time.